All right, so I'm going to show you how to easily convert your rates from beta flight to flight one and flight one to beta flight with extreme accuracy, very easy. All right, so my son Preston was working on an easy way to convert your beta flight rates to flight one and your flight one rates to beta flight. Uh, a lot of people have asked for this because either they're coming over from beta flight or they're using simulators and they want to get their flight one rates in the simulator. So the way we've decided to do this is we have created an app that basically brute forces your rates. So what it does is it generates a, a 2000 point curve and it looks for a thousand matches within a certain threshold. It will actually print the threshold on the screen to let you know how close you got. You may want to manipulate your rates slightly to see if you can get them you know, even closer to the exact rates, but this should bring it pretty close in general. Okay, so using the calculator is pretty easy. Uh, the first thing you do is you want to choose if you want to go from flight one to beta flight or if you want to go beta flight to flight one. So I'm going to pick beta flight to flight one and I'm gonna put in some sample rates that someone gave me and we'll see what they come back as. So what they gave me is 1.3, 0.3, 0 0.3, and 0.75. So when I go to convert this, if you look at this rate, uh, it's converting now, it converts to 290 in Acro Plus and uh, the base rate is 260 degrees a second. Um, the way Acro Plus works is it's kind of a multiplier. So it would be like, 2.9 times 260 and then adding in 260. So that's approximately 900, 1200 degrees a second, which is, is, is really pretty fast uh, for something like that. Um, so it doesn't convert as well. You can see that the tolerance is 27. That means all the points, a thousand points were within 27 degrees of each other, which is okay. I mean, that's, that's less than 10%. So most people maybe not notice it, but if I want to get it a little better, maybe I want to tweak it. So if I tweak this Super Expo over here to let's say 65, um, because I know it's close, I can even hit submit and then I might even see an even closer number and maybe I'll like that one better. Uh, you can see the tolerance now is 13, which is, it, that's extremely close. I mean, if you think it's a scale from zero to 2000, 13 in that scale is, is really close. Um, so this is getting a dead on match. Now, if I want to go the other way, I can do the same thing. I can choose flight one to beta flight. For example, I want to use my flight one rates in a simulator. Okay, so let's say I want to convert the other way. I got my flight one rates, but I want to use them in a Velocidrone or a simulator. So I can go the other way. I'm going to pick flight one to beta flight. And in here, I'm going to put in 260, 47, and 181. Now we should hopefully get somewhere close to 1.3.365. And if we do that, 1.3.29.65. You can see it's very close. So what this is actually doing is this is the most accurate way we can actually produce the same rates because it's doing all the work for you. It's verifying a thousand points. It's making sure they're within a certain tolerance and it's making it as perfect as possible. So this calculator right now is working for Betaflight. Uh, we may even put the source online so you guys can play with it. Uh, we'll add kisses as uh, we get a chance. But play with it. Let me know what you think. Uh, put in the comments what your rates were and they converted and let me know if they feel the same. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas to tweak. And So please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that little bell so you get notifications of future videos. And if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know.